formation. So Red Bull Formation is at its heart about collaboration and progression. So it's not a competition. Every line on the mountain is free for all. Anyone can ride it, doesn't matter who built it. I think that the beauty of Formation is that we have the space and platform to really show up on the highest level of our sport. Hey everyone, we're at Formation. This is day one. We are heading up for a course walk and we're gonna check out all the different lines. We got tons of chicks here that are absolute shredders. Yeah, it's gonna be really sick to see what everyone comes up with for lines. Um, I'm pumped, which almost, almost scares me. I'm like, you should probably be scared, but you're not. <sighs> I think it's exciting and talking to a lot of the girls right now, it gets me to think we're all pretty keen to distribute builds, so why not not choose? That's the whole point, distribute. collaborate. Walking up on the first day was like pretty intimidating and like overwhelming and like scary because you're seeing it all for the first time in person and it's so much bigger. Okay, so today's day one for Dean. Here is my team. So stoked to be here. So here's my plan. Uh, we're gonna start up there. We're gonna go a little bit into the left to that steep section. Then we have a little drop there and we are gonna build a big burn that is gonna take me to this uh, j little jump here and then sure, just send it here. <laughs> that makes me nervous, but I'm excited. <laughs> Formation isn't meant to be a competition, it's supposed to be a collaborative effort between all these different athletes to just push each other and bring out the best in one another. Digging process is pretty harsh on your hands, I mean I've yeah, taken a few blisters. Uh, first day thought I'd be, you know, tough girl and not wear some gloves and then end of the day I was like, oh, big regrets now, should have put some gloves on. carrying water uphill on pretty gnarly terrain and in the heat, throwing dirt with shovels, packing, chipping away rocks, like tons of really physically demanding tasks. And that's all prior to even getting on your bike. So yeah, we're all pretty exhausted. This part of the line is actually kind of a mystery. I didn't really look at it a whole lot. It's uh, just kind of a couple fadeaway bench cut things and just trying to build them to to my strengths, I guess, trying to make them fun and less scary. Talking to some of the girls, they're like, is this possible, do you think? And it's like, yeah, totally. Playing in that, that kind of chatter back and forth to come up with the decisions of the line is a really beautiful part of it. See how there's like a little bit of a lip onto the right of it? Uh, over there? Yeah, yeah. there's a kind of another shaley landing. So like worst case, oh yeah, because like this line, Cool, so I think we'll just let it dry out. Then we can uh, give it another soak and a final pat down. It's gonna be terrifying because it's a really vertical drop. Like it's it's much further down than it is out. But uh, but yeah, it should it should go pretty good. One of my main goals being here was to build my own drop. It was really important for me to just like create something new that was my own. A little recap from day one. We started at the very top at the kind of nose drop-in feature. Super steep shoot over a rock drop and then into another shoot to a bench cut. And now we're working on the lower big drop today into a goalie. That's gonna lead into a step up. So we'll probably spend most of the day today in that goalie working on that feature. Yeah, feeling very excited now that the riding is approaching. The risk first reward thing's a bit a bit gnarly. I got this, you know the speed. Three, two, one, watermelon. Wrong. 
I'm good, thank you. My mom is gonna be so mad. <laughs>